Welcome to Tech Zamir. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect to the dedicated SQL pool by using SSMS SQL Server Management Studio or Azure Data Studio or Visual Studio Code. Uh, I will be using SSMS, uh, but if you are connecting to the Azure Data Studio or Visual Studio, steps will stay the same. So let's open our portal right here and uh, what we have here portal.azure.com and here is my Synapse works, uh, workspace. Uh, I'm going to click right there and uh, then open the Synapse Studio. So here it is open already and uh, once I go there I'm going to go to the data and uh, here I will go to the workspace. Uh, in the workspace uh, you can see that uh, I have a dedicated SQL pool uh, database here is uh, called the TechDB DP and uh, I have some tables uh, in this uh, uh, database. Uh, Okay, here are my tables and uh, if I would like to connect to the, this uh, dedicated SQL pool, uh, how I can do that? Uh, so I will be going to the aportal.azure.com and I will be here uh, going to the home and then uh, here is uh, my workspace. Uh, then I will click right there and uh, then uh, once I click right there, uh, I'm going to get some information. Uh, so here is one of the uh, endpoint I need. So it's called dedicated SQL endpoint and I can copy this uh, and I will be using a SQL admin username. If uh, you have forgot the password for this account uh, when you were creating the workspace, so you can always come here and uh, reset the SQL admin uh, password. Uh, and so I'm, I, I remember that password, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be fine. And uh, this is the name of your uh, username. So let's open SSMS uh, and uh, we will go from there. I'm gonna copy, just search for SSMS SQL Server Management Studio. And that's my favorite uh, IDE because I use this with the SQL Server all the time. Okay, once uh, it is uh, open uh, and uh, what you will do, you will go to the connect uh, and uh, in the connect, uh, you will say database uh, engine and uh, then uh, it's going to open this uh, connect window. So you will be providing the server name and uh, I'm going to paste uh, the link we copied and here we will select uh, SQL Server Authentication. Uh, then we will uh, type uh, the account we are going to use and uh, then uh, provide the password. And uh, here then you can select the database so you can leave this master as is or uh, you can uh, click right there and uh, then uh, uh, you can select uh, tech db dp so it doesn't really matter at the end of the day you are going to see all the databases uh, in this uh, dedicated pool um, so now let's uh, connect that uh, and uh, once we are connected here we are going to see the databases tab here and you will see uh, your uh, tech db dp and uh, here is system databases uh, you will see them as well uh, so you have master there now in the tech db dp if uh, we click right there we have tables we have views external resources programmability storage security and uh, there is uh, also st uh, security on the this uh, uh, dedicated uh, sql pool level uh, so this uh, security if you want to go further in uh, and uh, create the roles and everything you can do that uh, from here. Now let's take a look on the tables and uh, we can uh, see um, three tables are already there. I can right click here and go to the select uh, top 1000 rows and uh, then it's going to show me the records from my dim product table. I'm going to close this one and let it execute and then we'll see the records. You can see my records right here product ID, product name and category. Let's say if I want to see the definition of this table I can right click here and script table as create or drop and create so I can do that as well and there are other uh, uh, already uh, templates available for me to select from so mm -hmm. now oh, sorry I shouldn't have closed this one I want this actually to be created okay great so it is dropping a table and uh, if you will take a look uh, it is dropping our table sales factor and uh, then uh, uh, it is uh, going to create a new table, a DBO sales factor, then a list of the columns are there and then we have distribution hash on column customer ID and then a clustered column store index is also present. So that's the definition of our uh, sales fact table. Now you have also views. I don't have any view really here. I, I haven't created yet, but you will see all the views. If you have created store procedures, you will see the store procedures under the store procedures. And uh, you can also see the functions or any uh, custom types if you have created. Uh, also, it will give you information on storage so you can see the partition scheme and partition functions as well. Uh, so this has really become easy to work in SSMS uh, when you are connected with your dedicated SQL pool uh, because it gives you a lot more uh, options uh, here. Uh, kind of it is easy in this uh, IDE instead of uh, you will work uh, uh, on uh, this uh, Azure Synapse Studio. 
because there is a, there is a lot of more other tabs going on in this uh, place uh, but when you are connected with the SSMS uh, you are going to see like a, a kind of SQL server type of environment. So I thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in next video.